Now in business, the United Nations Development Program Regional Director for Africa says the African Union must take steps to swiftly address the Nigeria-Benin border closure to avoid the situation getting worse. Currently, traders are stranded as Nigeria has extended the border closure until January 2020 in a bid to tackle smuggling. But speaking to Joy Business, the UNDP director said although such trade friction is not uncommon, um, the, the African Union must act quickly to prevent the disputes from festering. Well, you see, if you look at regional integ integration elsewhere, you know, in Europe or anywhere, there are teething problems. Um, it's not unique to Africa that you would have some roadblocks along the way. I think what nations of Africa and the African Union itself need to do, if it's not already set up, is to set up a mechanism that allow uh, countries to remove this, to address these issues as they come up. You know, because there will be issues along the way that will come up between countries and clusters. And that w there will have to be a mechanism to deal with them very quickly because the danger of leaving them to simmer and fester is they become much bigger issues. You know, the, the, the brick grows and it's much more difficult to tackle. Uh, so this sort of nimble, quick uh, resolution mechanisms will have to be in place. Now, stakeholders in livestock production are calling on African governments to pay attention to the sector to reduce meat deficits on the continent. Prince Apia attended the International Poultry, Aquaculture and Livestock Show in Kumase and reports. Statistics show that Ghana spends $375 million annually to import over 300,000 metric tons of meat and poultry products. Local industry players are taking steps to halt the trend they say a scaling investment and throwing people out of jobs. National Chairman of Poultry Farmers Association, Victor Point J, maintains local producers have the capacity to meet national demand. Poultry is not doing well because of imports of frozen chicken into the country. Anytime we talk about production, people will also be asking of capacity. And what I'm saying is that now we don't need capacity, we, wa we want production, we want to start producing in this country. And we can only start by coming together as an industry. We thank the government for bringing up planting for food and jobs. Unfortunately, this year it has been very wonderful. Prices of maize are still very low, uh, maize, of, uh, maize production is increasing. So it gives an indication that we can now produce our own boilers in the country instead of importing volumes and volumes here. We all know that what we are getting now is not fresh. It has been stored for years. And Ghanaians, we also need better. So we are urging everyone to come on board. Our farmers are ready. Chief Executive of Pulse Africa, John B. Wadduse, says enough of government's lackadaisical approach. And some of us are very sad about these things because it doesn't help our economy. And we think that it is time that government help us to produce. A few days ago, I had the Minister of Agriculture talking about changing the strain. We hope that it will work. And we hope that immediately we can start doing some 10 or 5 percent, which will show that we have started. If it doesn't start, you all know what Guta is doing now. Guta is solving their own problems. Poultry farmers will have to confront those who are destroying our industry. It is an eyesore and we cannot continue. We've done too much talking. We've done too much appeals from one government to the other and we don't understand why they are still not helping. So if it doesn't happen, come beginning of next year, we will have to start fighting our own Meanwhile, Ministry of Food and Agriculture hints of a five-year strategic plan to address the challenge.